Y Angelina here and today I am here with part three of my fall my huge fall um, thrift haul and I just wanted to bring you guys these pieces because they were left out from my previous two hauls because I was using them for that look my fall lookbook and so I definitely wanted to do a haul on them to show you like um, how much they cost and where I got them from and you know how awesome they are and also I am finally wearing this um, pajama top that I thrifted um, I guess a couple months ago and I am loving it but you know these like lingerie inspired pieces make you kind of feel glamorous so I had to match it with the earrings so don't don't mind me I'm just having a moment today <laughs> but let's get right into the haul okay so the first piece I want to show you is this and it's actually two separate pieces and I actually showed you guys this one um, oh it's been a long time ago it's a silk um, top that I got from the outlet probably maybe 50 cents or quarter day I can't remember or it might have been in one of those big hauls um, where I paid 10 cents for it but it was an awesome find whatever it was it's a hundred percent silk but I wanted to show you guys this little um, tank uh, lingerie slip top um, whatever it's called camisole and I like the lace details on the side I like that it's black it's like a satin material and I thought it was perfect perfect to pair on top of this silk top you know just to I love layering and um, this is a really great way to layer if you live in a climate that is still hot we've had maybe one day of fall so far so um, I'm still waiting for the actual fall weather but um, this is a great way to kind of layer when you live in a warm climate and then on the back it just um, you know comes down and has adjustable straps so I thought that that was a really good find I got this at Value Village for um, it was 50% off so I think I paid $2 for it and it's by Victoria's Secret so of course you know it is actually lingerie but I really like how it layers on top of this silk top okay so the next item is a sweater this is the brand Kira and I wore it in the lookbook with um, some um, wide leg pants that I'm gonna show you next. But I really like this sweater. I got it from Family Thrift Outlet. It was one dollar day or one dollar and a quarter day, uh, one twenty-five day. But um, at any rate, I just like this sweater, and it looks really simple from the front. Um, at first, I couldn't figure out how to get it on, but um, you know, and it's. Got, it's kind of breathable so that's like I said really good for a warm climate but then you turn it to the back and the whole back is out so and then it has this just to kind of keep it together so I really was excited about that and you know you could wear it off the shoulder or you could just wear it kind of further up on your neck with the back out so um, in the lookbook I wore it off the shoulder and uh, with the wide leg pants and some sneakers so and then here are the wide leg pants of uh, culottes what have you that I got from Family Thrift Outlet for $2 um, the brand on these are Solitaire and I actually did take these up I wanted them um, to be a little bit cropped so I cut a little bit off and you know turned it under and sewed it hemmed it at the bottom but I really really like these I like the pattern on them and I like how flowy they are and how wide they are they're nice and wide so um, yeah I am really really enjoying these as well as you know the other wide leg pants that I've thrifted lately okay so next I'll show you this white sweater and it is the brand Yarn, Yarn Works Petites and um, it um, is the sweater that I wore over the uh, lingerie slip dress type uh, dress that I wore on the lookbook and I got this for I think it was 50 cents at the thrift store and I actually think I might need to wash it again because I've been washing it with all whites and this last time I washed it with just like regular light colored clothes and it didn't come out as white as I like so I'll probably throw it back in the washing machine but um, I really like this is a cable knit sweater white and it's chunky nice and warm it's kind of long and it has covered buttons so you know you definitely know it's vintage if it has covered buttons but for 50 cents I thought that was a really good find you can turn the sleeves up and you know kind of push them up on your arm and you know no matter what the look that was kind of like a maybe a little boho look um, on the lookbook but this could be like 
you know, smart look or whatever. Um, I think it really pairs well with a lot of things. Okay, so the next item is this gray simple sweater, but I just like that it's like kind of like a, um, the, the pattern on it. Um, and it's just a sweatshirt and I got it for a quarter and it is the brand Tracking Court. So I don't know whether that's was made to be like um, for sports or whatever, but I just liked it. I like um, I like gray, of course, and I think it pairs really well with a lot of things to dress it up or dress it down um, for the fall. Okay, so the last item in this really quick haul is actually something I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this these jeans. They're from Old Navy, and it wasn't that long ago that I showed them to you. But for this um, look, I wanted to change them up, so I just wanted to show you what I did. I um, did like like kind of a little V in the front and I've been seeing these all over so I decided to try to do my own and I just distressed them and left a little bit of the fringe um, on the front and I think it really looks nice with strappy heels because it reveals your strap you know the straps on the heels I mean it's like really cool to wear you know wide leg jeans but now we have all of these strappy shoes and it's like a crime to hide the straps underneath the wide leg jeans so um, I like these for that reason because it you know kind of reveals what's going on on the ankle oh my gosh I almost forgot the best piece of all it's actually hours later than the original recording and I had to come back and show you guys because that was actually the biggest reason I was making this video is to show you guys the jacket that I wore in the lookbook and just to let you know that um, I actually got this jacket for free someone gave it to me and I decided since it was kind of military s that I would just kind of play off of that and so I had an inspiration on Pinterest um, and if you guys want to kind of see what's going on in my head you guys can follow me on Pinterest um, I don't pub it a lot because I'm like you know I don't necessarily want you guys to know what's going on in my head before before I show you but if you want to know like kind of where I'm going before I get there Pinterest is a good place to follow me um, to know where I'm going with <laughs> with my um, inspiration and videos and all that kind of stuff but I painted some um, just different things this one says shy to Houston uh, CHI to HTX, that's Chicago to Houston. This patch says Triumph, not Trump. I wore it one day and somebody thought I said Trump. I said, no, it says Triumph. Um, I think that's a like old oil and gas patch. And this side says zero and it just has a patch over here. And then I put a couple of my favorite um, numbers two and eight and then you guys remember when we were like in well when i was in like middle school people used to put the hello in the um calculators and then turn it upside down and show people so i put that right there because why i'm a nerd and um yeah <laughs> and so it just has some random patches that i got chanel patch has a fashion patch and just some other military inspired patches um this X and random X and G. I like that because it reminds me of math. And then the eyes are really cool. So I really, really, really like this jacket. And I almost forgot it because I've been wearing it and it was kind of hidden someplace where I put stuff that I'm currently wearing. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing everything that was in the lookbook or seeing it hauled. And um, I have so much stuff to show you guys. I went thrifting yesterday and I found, I mean, the outlet was on Point. I went to two dollar day it was on point so I have so much stuff to show you guys so if you have not subscribed please subscribe because I have much more to show you guys and we have our new challenge which I'm really excited about so just so much stuff to come please subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time bye <laughs>